It is day 30. <laughs> so we're back at the lake. Um, and today's video is really about, it's not about how far you have to go, it's about how far you've come. And I am Antique Alicia, and this is my glimpse of my own university. So yesterday's video was really, um, you know, quite major. And, and today, I've gotten some perspective. So yes, there are no guarantees, or, or to give a guarantee of somebody's experience, or the results, or, or a lifetime of love, or whatever it is, it's kind of challenging. Look at this beautiful, isn't Alaska just gorgeous? Anyway, um, and today's, you know, thing I woke up this morning, I didn't really have much dreams. I think there was a lot of clearing, because I feel really clear, and just, you know, as I said that, I'm looking down, and look how clear that water is. Um, so those are the affirmations that come. But, you know, my first book, my first published book of my own is called From, ha From Bondage to Happiness. And it's really a book about perspective. And as an overachiever, as someone who tries to do it all, um, as I was talking about a couple of videos ago, right? Um, like probably most of you, definitely like most of my clients, if not all of them, it's really challenging to keep things in perspective because we feel like we should be further ahead. We feel like we should be um, doing more and having more. And so this morning as I was journaling and going in through things and thinking about, well, what's guaranteed? Where am I now? That was the question that came up. And where am I now? And you know, how long did it take me to get here? because I feel like I've been in this business and been doing this stuff and walking through my own university and asking myself these questions since, well, forever, really my whole life. Um, so it feels like I've been doing this for a long time. But in reality, um, it hasn't been that long. Like I started coaching six years ago. I think it was 2010, um, and so that's six years. And that's kind of mind blowing to me. I did have a teacher training program at that time. I did have the foundation of my Amazing You program at that time already, um, but I hadn't written any books. I hadn't done any of that. I had never spoke. I hadn't done any of that. And I never coached. And so that's, that's hmm. And then, you know, through that, I, I was still homeschooling my girls. I was still doing things like that. And really it wasn't until two years ago, this, week, this week, that um, I said, oh crap, I gotta get my act together and really create a business and create um, something. And then my vision had to come through. And the vision really is um, threefold for me. I have my coaching business, I have my community at your own university, and, and, and I have the nonprofit that focuses on ending abuse by ending self-abuse that really starts there and concerts and music. So this was a huge vision and in two years, <laughs> I mean, besides there's a few of the, the, um, you know, trademarks and, and copyrights and, and business licenses and stuff like that I had done. Um, other than that, I, I didn't really have it done. And also in that two years, I, you know, graduated again from another certification program, um, to be a different, style of coach not only lifestyle design but also deeper than that not only trauma therapy but deeper than that not only yoga therapy but deeper than that <laughs> yeah, so this is what I've done in two years two years three companies all working all manifesting all all working and now it's really grow time it's grow and go time it's spread the word and, and share time and when I think about it like that it's like wow but like many of my clients um, maybe you. Oftentimes I think the opposite, which is, is a real downer, actually. It's, I don't look at what is really happening and what's really great and how far I've come. I compare myself to where I think I should be. You know, I compare myself to the million members. I compare myself to the huge stadium, um, the 33 countries and concerts and everything. I, I compare myself to the big vision of where I think I should be and I forget to look back at where I've come from and I really forget to look back at how far I've come in such a short amount of time. I mean two years ago 
I had no Your Own University website. I didn't have the website, let alone 80 coaches that are um, joint venturing with us and amazing programs and a store and radio and TV and everything that's happening there. I mean, and publishing, like I didn't have any of it. Two years ago, I had a small coaching business, but it wasn't really there and, and my brand was completely off. I didn't know who I really served. Um, I was in, I was mixing my mission with, with my, my calling. Um, so that, that was huge. And two years ago, I didn't even have my nonprofit, my 501c3 until August. Um, so it hasn't even been two years. And I didn't know how to run it. I didn't know what to do. And I definitely wasn't having a concert next month, right? So there's perspective for you. There is a glimpse into looking at what you have done already and really celebrating that and celebrating your accomplishments each day instead of looking at where you think you should be, where you think you should be, and comparing yourself to that because that's really a loser's mindset. Not calling you a loser, not calling myself a loser, but it is a losing mindset where when we look at how far we've come since yesterday and what we're accomplishing in such a short amount of time, it's, it's a whole different view. I can really be proud of what I've done. I can go, wow, this is going to be successful. If I look the other direction, I can get down and feel bad and, and get into worry. I hope this video speaks to you. I hope that you look back at how you're creating your business or how you're creating your life or your love life or whatever goal you're going for and you go, wow, I've really made some headway. I've really changed my mindset or I've changed what I've done or I've grown here or I've grown that and recognize yourself for how far you've come. Um, since yesterday, since a month ago, since two months ago, because most likely you've come a lot further than you think you have. And then when you look at where you want to be, scale that back to one step at a time and then celebrate those steps. I love you so much. Thank you so much for being on this journey with me. You can find out more about our community at yourownuniversity.com or .org. Either one, I say them both, right? Um, you can find out more about me in the six personal power zones and what I do in the Amazing You program at AntiqueAlicia.com. That is right below me here. This is a glimpse of my own university and I hope that you will join me and really documenting your own university with us. Love you. Bye.